What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to do a rewind VHS effect inside DaVinci Resolve. Let's get into it. Why would you need a rewind or VHS style effect? Well, there's a lot of times that maybe you're doing something and you need to do a throwback vintage style, or maybe you want to enhance something that happened. Whatever you're wanting to do, this can enhance and play into a lot of scenarios. Well, that's what we're gonna learn today is I'm gonna show you how to do this inside DaVinci Resolve. Let's load it up and get going. So this rewind, fast forward, pause, VHS style effect is really not as hard as you think it will be. So the first thing we're gonna need is a video clip. Now I just pulled this off of art grid uh, it's probably not the perfect clip for this scenario but that's honestly why I grabbed it because I wanted to take something that's honestly shot really well it's a very wide aspect uh, I wanted to take this and make it look like a VHS style video so the easiest way to do this is I'm just gonna cheat it I'm gonna zoom it in just like that so it covers everything uh, I think that's fine let me zoom out of my timeline here a little bit um, that way it kind of covers everything. Sure, that's fine. I'm gonna move this down because we're not even gonna focus on audio uh, right now, if at all. So the first thing we need to do is actually figure out where we want to pause this, rewind it, fast forward, whatever we're gonna do. Uh, so we can either right click on the video clip and we can go right here, the retime controls, or we can hit Command R uh, as a keyboard shortcut on a Mac. So I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit just so I can see. I think I'm gonna have it go right there, pause, because I like that flare that the sun's giving. So I'm gonna click on this little arrow right here, and I am going to go to freeze frame. It's automatically gonna tell me how long it thinks it needs to be. I don't like it being that long, so I'm gonna grab the top right here, and I'm gonna slide into where I think is a good spot. I think that's pretty good right there. Uh, it'll pause, and then let's do like, uh, let's do some rewind maybe. So we're gonna click on that again, I'm gonna go down here to where it says rewind and we're gonna do 400%. And again, it's gonna add this in the middle. We can bypass that by just dragging this way up here uh, is the easiest way, something like that. You can see when I'm grabbing it here, it's actually making it go even faster, which is fine. Uh, it'll pause and then it'll rewind a little bit. And I personally, let me zoom in right here. I personally like it when it leaves these little gaps in here because it kind of glitches a little bit, which is the style we're going for. So I'm not even gonna get rid of those. I kind of like that little glitch it does before it starts rewinding. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add another, we'll go right here. Let's add another uh, freeze frame. I'm going to make it a little bit longer. Let's say like that. Uh, let's go out here. I'm going to add a speed point, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. And then right here, I'm actually going to do a fast forward, so I don't need to rewind anything. I'm just going to go to change speed, and we're going to do 400%. And I can actually even make that a little bit faster to dial it in. So essentially, we've got normal play, and then it's going to pause, rewind, pause again, fast forward, and then play. The next thing I want to do is I want to start adding the text on top of it. Now I did go ahead and make some of these for you guys. I will have a link to a pack that is going to have some of these fast forward, pause, play, uh, rewind, and some other stuff. I'm just using these as the basic ones right now. Uh, I will have some other noise stuff in it as well. I did already bring out a pack that has like the vintage stuff on it and it has some VHS stuff in it. But if you guys are wanting even more VHS style stuff, uh, this pack will have it, it'll only be a couple bucks. I'll have a link for it in the description below. Uh, so the first thing we wanna do is we wanna grab our play, PNG. Let's just bring it on top is the easiest way. I'm gonna drop it right about there, I think is pretty good. Uh, we know we pause, so I'm gonna grab the pause, pause it right there, and then we are rewinding, so we're gonna add our rewind just like that. Then let's go ahead and add our pause one more time because we're pausing. And again, you guys don't have to do uh, so many pauses, plays. You could literally just do pause, play, uh, whatever you're wanting to do, maybe just rewind the whole thing, whatever. Uh, it, it's kind of your taste and your style and what you're wanting to do. So we're gonna have it fast forward there. 
and then we are also going to need play one more time and we will just drag that to the same length of the clips so we have it playing and then it pauses rewinds pauses again fast forwards plays I think it looks pretty good. Now what we need to do is we need to add our noise. So I have some video clips again, like I said, you guys can find those in the description below. Uh, it's actually just about perfect for it. The good thing is with this style of video is even if it was this short, we could literally just copy it and you know, just keep stacking on top of itself. You're never gonna notice when it's playing through because it's just, it's a jittery style of video. Uh, let me hit Command Z a couple times just to make it easier. Um, we'll make it the length that is. We need to add this into our footage, so the easiest way to do it is click on it, go over here under Inspector, Composite. Uh, we're gonna go under Composite Mode, and I am going to add Overlay, I think is kind of the best for this style. Now you can turn it down a little bit if you want, so I'm gonna just turn it down to like 48%. I don't need it overwhelmingly strong, so we'll actually even lower it to like 37 I think that looks pretty good uh, this does have a blue tint to it this video uh, does have blue on it so what we can do is we can hop inside the color page and uh, take all the saturation down so with that video clip selected just here on the color wheel tab the third one we are just gonna grab the saturation and bring it all the way down uh, you can also mess with the curves if you'd like to make it a little bit different uh, but I think that's pretty good we're gonna hop back into the edit page real quick before we finish up in the color page. Uh, what I like to do is I like to actually combine these two and I'm going to explain why. Let me actually copy these and move it over here. That way I can show you guys real quick. I'm gonna highlight all this knowing everything is lined up where it needs to be, uh, not including the top, I'll leave that alone. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna make a new compound clip. Compound, can't say that. Uh, that way, all the titles are locked in with the video clip itself. Now we're gonna hop back into the color page and we are going to make sure we are on our compound clip right here. Let me move it over here so we can see a little better. We are gonna make this a little bit more VHS style. So I am gonna go to the color right here. I'm gonna go to the nodes. I'm gonna scroll down here to add splitter combiner node. This essentially is just giving us red, blue, and green nodes so we can separate them and move them. So we're gonna to go to the sizing tab right here, making sure we're on the fourth tab, and I'm gonna click on the top one right here. I know it's red because I can see the little dots right there. Uh, I'm gonna grab the pan and I'm just gonna barely move it, just barely. If we got out of hand, you can see it's really moving it. I want it to just barely start adding that kind of separation where the light's hitting it. I'm gonna go to the green and I'm gonna grab the tilt and I'm actually just gonna tilt it down just a little bit. A little bit really goes a long way, trust me, especially when it's moving. Let's hop back in the edit page and we can play that through and we can see that it's kind of separated and it's looking good. If it's a little too much, like I don't really care for that pink right there, uh, we'll go back into the color page. Let's click back on our compound clip I believe it's the tilt. Let's tilt it up a little bit, maybe just a little less like that. If we want, we can do this one also, but again, a little bit goes a long way. I think that's pretty good right there. Play that through, that looks better. Let me copy this and bring it over here so we can see the difference. You've got this right here, and then you've got that right there. You can see it's not a huge difference, but without it, something looks off, something looks wrong. This really pushes, takes away the sharpness of that camera, and I think it really just sells the effect. Now the reason I save that color splitter to the end and I combine the titles and the video is if we did this by itself, none of the white or black would be separating on this the same. And I've tested it, it looks okay, but it looks a lot better when you have the play button and the pause button, all of them actually doing the same as the video clip itself. Of course, the last thing to do would be to trim this down. So we're gonna click on the video clip. We're gonna go to the inspector one more time. We're gonna go to cropping right here. And we're gonna start bringing the sides in. I think 200% is good. We'll do about the same there. Just like that. And we can see that looks 
really good. That looks like a VHS video clip playing. And again, I've got more overlays in the pack that if you guys want to add, you know, like SP at the bottom, um, anything like that to really sell it over the top. Of course, DaVinci Resolve does have their own uh, effect that you can do analog damage. But a lot of you guys that are in DaVinci Resolve, the free version and not the studio, you do not have this. So this is a really good workaround and you know it's yours. And this will also work, uh, these overlays will also work on any editor you have. Well, there you go, guys. That's how you do the rewind slash kind of pause effect inside DaVinci Resolve. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment below, subscribe. You know all the things. You guys are amazing. I'm the Air Giant. I'll see you next time. Peace.